I'm Mr. Sam, the allotment man, and today we're going to show you how to make a do-it-yourself cloche slash net protection system for your for your beds. Let's get on with it. Net protection system. Yeah. Let's get on with it. So then guys, uh, we're going to show you how our uh, system works because we're in a small uh, back garden allotment and we have problems with cats pooing in things and we have problems with pigeons eating things and we also have problems with like cold weather and stuff like that. So we have... Uh, um, apart from that... Apart from that, it's absolutely fine. So what we've done, we've made ourselves a cloche type system so we can have just mm. netting or just closhing, plastic, um, and uh, we've made it out of plumbing stuff, which someone pointed out a few videos ago. Go. So um, here it is. We're going to uh, show you what show it is. It. So let, let's reveal it. You go over there. We're doing this on all onboard microphone today because uh, couldn't be bothered to put the radio mic on. So hopefully it's all working. So let's have a look. Okay. So this is it. Right. So it's ah, hello. It's the cat, everybody. Wonderful. So this hello. is our cloche system. Okay, it's made out of what? What size is that? Uh, it's it's 15 millimeter piping. Shut up, cat. Um, you can buy it in England. You can buy it in any plumbers, B and Q, that sort of place. Exactly. Come here. So there you go. Uh, that that's that, and that's made in a bit of an arc. Okay, that goes over there like that, and it stops moggies like that getting in there like this. Okay, you getting in. Exactly. No. Should we get on with this? Yeah. All right, okay. And what we have, we have net that goes over the top of it. All right. So, Dad, are you going to show them how that works? Okay. Uh, well, before we do that, I was going to show you how this actually stands up on its own. Like All right, that. let's see how it stands up on its own. Go on. Okay. The, um, you've seen it all before, but there's it's, it's a couple of nice little th things, the cavities playing about. A nice little things uh, I put into the design. Now you got your bed and the pieces of wood going down the side. Now those pieces of wood uh, are about uh, 12 inches, that's about 300 um, millimeters and they go in the ground. They, they are uh, treated but they will rot eventually. But these have been in about six years so they're not doing too bad. Now, what you do though, is oh, these piece, these pipes have got obviously a hole in them and in the wood you put in a piece of metal. Now that can be a bolt with the end sawn off and then you drill a, a smallish hole, just sm slightly smaller diameter than the bolt and then you just bang them in or you can screw them in but banging in is fine. Then they just drop on like that, and that's that. The other little thing about the is these little cuts out of the wood. Now they've done it, roughly speaking, about one foot twelve inches apart. So when you're planting things, a lot of seeds say plant ten inches apart, twelve inches apart, six inches apart, whatever. So you got a, a pretty good idea of the. Um, spacing without actually having to measure and uh, that sort of helps I find especially me and that's it the there's a middle bit which just sort of gives it a little bit of support um, that way and then you've got the netting which goes over and we'll Sam and I'll show you what happens with that well then little insight there into how it all goes together now uh, we said we put plastic over this and we put netting, uh, so both all one at a time. Both or one at a time. Yeah. So all that is right. uh, is netting, and it's it's worth getting something half decent, and then it doesn't uh, tear. This was quite expensive. Where'd you get it from? Uh, Harrods. Harrods. Yeah. Well, like the actual proper Harrods. Yes, in Lowestoft. All oh, right, in Lowestoft. Have you got a link for that? Yeah. We'll put the link in the description. Uh, under the video for you. Yeah, I think it's spelt with two R's. It doesn't matter how it's spelt, it's a link. No one reads links. Right, just click on it. Right, there you go. Right, right. okay. Right, and this unrolls. 
and then that's there's a, a, this end is weighted as well. So you put it over like that, then roll it down to the other end. We've done it the wrong way around really for unrolling, but yes. oh, there you go. But never mind. And that goes over there like that. That's it. And then you tighten it up. You yeah. got you got a bit of extra on the uh, on each end, so that covers. Well, yes, the ends, obviously. So things can't get in. And yeah. this is also butterfly proof, isn't it? This is a butterfly net, yeah. This is butterfly net. So when you talk about netting, it's best to um, just don't worry about the pigeons and cats. Worry about everything, because then you won't have to buy more than one net. And if it's a good quality net, we've had this for a couple of years or so, haven't we? Well, this was down the allotment, the big allotment. The big allotment. Uh, around the... Uh, Plots. Around the plots, and we just took it back because we don't want to give it to anybody else. So that's that, and then there's a second thing. If you get in cold weather, you've got this underneath. That's exactly the same. It's plastic. This is polythene. Well, so, yes, yeah, polythene. And right. It rolls over. It does the same job. It's, I only put over. Uh, first of all, you could, if you got some people get a black. Let's one. get a bit closer over here, right? Because we're on the rubbish mic. So let's. Uh, there you go. Bit of a bodge today. There's, there's two ways of doing it. This one's just to keep the the frost off, maybe in the uh, winter. If you you can put it flat on the ground, and then it will help warm it up. But then you really need black plastic. But yeah, that's that's just a way of um, keeping the warmth in. And some people use it as a sort of greenhouse, you see. It's a sort of greenhouse. It's not a greenhouse, but it is a greenhouse. See what I mean? A of a temporary nature. Of a temporary nature. So that's what we're doing. So that's it, really. Um, we are, we've got potatoes in here, and we're happy that they're all fine and that's all okay now and everything. So we're not going to have the plastic on anymore, and we're not going to have the netting on anymore, because um, the cat really can't dig anything up because they're too big and we're going to be putting some runner beans in there. We're not going to do that today, we're just going to put the poles in today. Uh, and that's about it really. Yeah, so we'll be taking the We'll be taking that and, plastic we'll, off, and, we'll, and we'll shove that out of the way somewhere. Yeah, but it's easy to put them back because of those... Because there's nothing permanent in the ground. Those little uh, spikes. Those yeah. posts there are very handy. I'm going to put this up a little bit. They're very handy for doing stuff like that. And you can use them for tying things on too. Yeah, you can tie small children to them. Or, if no one's looking, <laughs> you just push them over. What? No children anymore. Well, no? No, apparently not. We no, don't do not that. Not on TV. Not on TV anyway. So there you go. Remember, never run in the garden. No, you can run in the garden if you're playing games. You can't run in the allotment. But this is an allotment garden, so we're a little bit confused. But there you are. Anyway, so we're going to get on with it. This is just a little one because we're a little bit bored today. Are you f I can see you in the monitor. <laughs> it's not exactly secret, is it? <laughs> right, okay. Uh, so, that. so that's it. And we're going to plant some squashes out as well. Um, we're just putting our squashes in the ground. It's nothing oh, great to look at. Just yeah. one thing. One I, thing. I uh, spotted the other day a um, hedgehog. Did Scuttle you? Yeah, it was one evening I was out here. Oh, right. And uh, he was scuttling along, so yeah. I think he, she lives in there somewhere. Oh, right. And that's a bit of rough wood that's been laying about for ages, so we're going to leave it there. Yes. Um, and it's next to the children's um, den. Yeah. So they, they can... Uh, it's like a wildlife area. Yeah. Cause only Especially wildlife can live here. here. They can't, yeah, exactly. They, they can only live there. Wildlife is not well, allowed they, anywhere else because this is the designated yeah, it's, it's area. Yes, a sign up saying no. We've got EU funding for this area. But uh, all that wood long, will rot, you see, right. and always oh, rotting. And the hedgehogs love the little bugs and things. They yeah. also eat snails and uh, those other ones without shells. Slugs. Slugs, yes. Mm. So we're trying very much not to use the slug pellets. And on that point, we're now using... Do you know the difference between a slug and a snail? Homeless, isn't it? Yes, yeah, slugs, slugs sell big issue. <laughs> Very big good. issue. That's big a magazine issue. in England. It's a magazine in England. Very well, good. Home, Very homeless good. People. Homeless yes, people is. sell it. It's very good. Yeah. Very good. But... Oh, news. But we're using coffee grounds... Coughing grounds to as keep anti slugs. Yeah, all our coffee grounds go on here and it keeps the slugs away and it's working pretty well. Yeah. Good tip. 
There you are. And the slugs are sort of going absolutely hyper. They are. They're like... <laughs> they don't much. sleep. They don't sleep. They die of exhaustion. <laughs> They're jogging. And some news. We're not sure. You might be able to see our bird box in the background up back there. We're not sure if the robins... Their nest because they're robbed. They've been robbed because they're not around anymore. But there was a magpie. Yeah. And I think we think the magpie got the the eggs. So it's a bit rubbish. We're yeah. not going to check the box just in case they're sitting there. They really, might come back and do a second go. They might have a second go. But they're, if they uh, if they take the advice from me, I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother either. But there yeah. you are. But yeah, so no more robbing things. Shame. And also, it hasn't been long, but lots of people have been voting on the last bird call. Yeah. And it go. I can't remember. I don't know either. <laughs> but the... the <laughs> right, right, okay, bit of confession. Okay, I put up uh, Mugwump, which you might know is uh, Boris Johnson, called someone else that. Okay, uh, look, look, look up that thing and you might find it, and Boris Johnson, and uh, Peacock. So, obviously, we... He called somebody a peacock? No, he didn't. He called him a Mugwump. Oh. And so the thing is, is that I just made up a bird call really and uh well and you know i and didn't know some people have voted for it some people have voted for it some people have voted for a mugwump loving we, you we that know was, who you are that, that was the idea but then lots of people said peacock and i thought well that's just ridiculous then mm. i went and listened to a peacock mm. and i thought actually it's quite similar really so you're both white so there you are so that's it um this is only a short episode well it was supposed to be a short episode it's probably a long episode now but Let's pretend it's a short one because it's bank holiday. Hola. Okay. Um, it's next got, Friday. It's going to be called how to. How to make a cloche in a net thing. Yeah. Or something like that. Okay. Oh. Oh look, people. Are, they already want to know. No. No. Is this they live? Don't. I think so. So that's that really. Um, and I'll do another bird call competition next time, and it'll be a proper one. Promise you that sort of thing. Um, and I'm thinking about bringing some t-shirts out. Would anyone like a Mr. Sam the Allotment Man t-shirt? We're going to do merchandise now. Are we? Yeah, I'm only going to crown them on. Is, is uh, the maid going to sew them? No, she can't sew. Well, she can, but not, I can sew better than that. Can you? Yeah, mm. can. But anyway, so um, if anyone would like a t-shirt or a mug, please let me know. And uh, we could start vlogging. We could do a mug as well. I've seen a thing on Vistaprint, they're going cheap. So we can do that, okay? Uh, if you want one, we could make your own, really. Doesn't matter. I don't care. So, oh, there's a bird. Exciting. That's that, a... What is it? I think that's a robin or a wren. Is it? Or you, a, have it they might moved, be a vulture. Have they moved next door? I think it's a wren. All right. Or a vulture. I'm not sure if you can hear it or not. It's going... Yeah. Tweet. No, it's louder <laughs> than you. But there you are. So that was that. So if you know what it is, anyway, we're, we're yeah, we're going to get on with it now. So I we're going to. It's a wren. Yeah, it's a wren. We're, we're, we're going to say it's a wren. Um, we're going now. So uh, thanks very much. I'm, I'm Mr. Bald. Yeah, I am too. So we're going to finish it now. We've got to say the oh, thing. Okay. Oh, I'm Mr. Sam the Allotment Man, and that's Dad. We're bored, and we're going to go now. Uh, happy bank holiday, and uh, we'll do. They don't have. Them. Dad's not here. You, you're away, aren't you, Friday? Yes. So hopefully we'll have an episode out on Friday, which might be useful. See you then. Hi. <laughs> oh, happy growing. We didn't say happy growing. Oh, sorry. Happy growing. Now we're done.